Good evening everybody and welcome to the Chrissy B Show. We're going to talk all about beauty and how to be beautiful on tonight's show. Now Brits spend a staggering 10.2 billion pounds on beauty products each year and it's not just the women because the men are at it too. So you'll be seeing today, actually we've got a stylist here, Lisa Marie. Normally she does the news and stuff on Fridays but she's also a bit of a stylist so she'll be styling two models tonight and she'll be showing us what kind of looks and colours would really suit them. And also, you'll be seeing how my makeup is done, because we've done a little film about that, not a little film, a little video about that as well. And also, we went to, where was it Bianca went to? The Beauty Awards show? I can't In remember Excel, what it's called. Excel, Excel because the auto queue's not working. The Beauty so, Exhibition. Beauty show. Yes. Yeah. 2012, and I, I actually, 2013 rather, I actually <laughs> interviewed Erica Fremantle, who's a celebrity makeup artist. So she, we're going to be showing that later on as well. So... Today's show all about beauty and if you've got any opinions about this, if you would like to email me, you can do so on chris at chrissybisha.tv or you can also call on 020 7686 6300. Now let's first speak to Bianca, even though we spoke to already. <laughs> how are you darling? Hi Chris, I'm really well, how are you? Yeah, I'm well, but sort of still getting over the news of what happened in Woolwich and stuff because mm. it's put it all down on everything, hasn't it? It's been terrible. It was like... It just didn't seem real. It seemed like something that you'd watch on a movie, didn't it? Wasn't it? It was yeah. just like a horror film. It was horrible. It was. And there was that big debate, wasn't there, about whether the newspaper should have published the picture, that the photograph, that awful photograph of that man holding the, the cleaver and the Yeah, his, I think I don't think they needed to do that. I just think it's a bit too far. I think it's good to raise awareness of what happened and mm. everything, but you can do that in words. You don't need to publicize the photograph. I don't know though. I think I think it was important for people to actually see the reality of what mm. happened. I know it was quite gory and everything, but at the end of the day, that's what happened. And I think mm, people should like, know what's going on in, in, in the streets. Yeah, it's true. But, what, but I'm just thinking from like a children's point of view. Imagine a child mm. walking past the, uh, some newspapers and seeing that on the front cover, like a guy with a, this huge knife. It's worrying, isn't it? And quite yeah. frightening for them as well. And it's frightening for us as well. It is, it like, is. I walk alone on my own a lot in London. Like, I'll go home on my own a lot. I and know. Seeing, yeah, and seeing that. I like, was telling you off about that. I know, but that frightened <laughs> me. Like, for the, one of the first times yeah. I've felt a bit frightened going home on my own because mm. I feel. Because the guy, the guy who did it, he was saying um, he wanted people to take photos of him. He was saying, take photos of me, take photos of me. Yeah. Like, what I did, video record it. He waited for the police to arrive and. He's like, it's like he was wanting to show what he's what he's done. Do you know what I mean? And he was saying she things did, like, yeah. um, your ch hide your children. Well, not hide your children. He was like, um, I'll find your children, your wife. They're not, no one's safe, no one's safe. And I just thought, it's horrible, isn't it? We were walking around um, late at night and stuff. And it's well, like, I just, just love the way safe. those people just, just grouped together and they weren't scared and they just stayed there. And they, I, I yeah. admire their bravery and the ones that tried to help him as well. Yeah, it's awful. Awesome. Like, we could talk all day about it, but I just... I know, but let's not put it down. On. I know everyone yeah, was talking about it. But let's horrible. talk about the topic for today. Cause, yeah, let's you know. talk about the topic. Yeah, okay, so we're not going to let them put us down, right? Exactly. Yeah. So I'm going to be talking about how beauty is perceived differently in different countries. This is really interesting to see the varied um, definitions of beauty in different areas of the world. So I start off with Thailand. So in some areas of Thailand, they measure women's beauty by the length of their necks. Um, oh. So, did you know well, how long can your neck go? <laughs> exactly. <laughs> well, you're going to find out. Oh God! Um, and I'm apparently, sorry, I shouldn't say that. Sorry, you're from Thailand. <laughs> that's working. beautiful. That's beauty beautiful. there. Uh, the longer the neck and the, uh, the more brass rings worn around the neck is um, identified. How, how do they get their necks like that? Exactly. <laughs> so what they do, Chris, is from a very young age they put the brass um, rings on the children's necks and um, they wear them every day and they don't take them off. So it's, it, it oh. put pressure on your chest and your shoulders. So your shoulders eventually go down, your neck elongates, and then they fit more rings on oh as you get gosh. older. And the more rings you've got, the more beautiful How you, you are. How do you I can't sew anything around my neck. I know. If anything's tight there, it's like, mm. it's like cracking. Exactly. I don't think... Like, I don't, do you think it looks pretty? I don't really think it looks that pretty. I shouldn't really list. comment, should I? I don't like it now. I don't, don't really like the look. No, <laughs> I, don't, no. I don't really like it. I, don't, I think it's a health hazard as well, like putting that on your neck. You can't really, like you say, you can't breathe, you can't eat. It's putting pressure on the neck. Yeah. So, yeah, that was quite a strange one. Um, <laughs> and then in India, it wasn't the length of the neck, it was the length of the hair. Um, and they wear lots of jewellery excessively, especially at weddings, um, coloured, beautiful coloured saris as well, and homemade memory that one I like. remedies as well. That's yeah. pretty, isn't it? Yeah. And they do lots of homemade remedies as well. And then um, in China, they measure the beauty by their wealth and their power by jewellery again. So, they, they, so the more jewellery you own, is, it shows power and it shows beauty through that. We really haven't seen that like mm. publicised or anything before. Yeah. So, yeah, they've, the more... Um, oh, that kind of jewellery. <laughs> Let's have a look again. <laughs> okay, that wasn't what I had in mind. <laughs> <laughs> lots of... Lots 
month of Shavuot. <laughs> okay. And then, <laughs> moving on. And in uh, some areas of East Africa, um, being skinny is definitely not a sign of beauty. So mm. they, the more curvier, curvaceous the woman is, the more beautiful you are. Um, and this is, that is the even. One? That's not the one. So it gets it gets really bad. Um, Hang on, let's, let's let's stay on the right. So the more curvaceous you mm. are, the more. so the more curvaceous you are, the more beautiful you are. Mm. And then from a young age, they that's, that's nice though. That's yeah, like, I mean, for someone that feels a bit overweight, <laughs> yeah, they should just that's go there it. and feel wonderful. Yeah, <laughs> exactly. So something beautiful. Mm -hmm. So yeah. with the young girls, they will force feed them from quite a young age as well. Force feed. Yeah, them. that's when it gets really bad. So they're force feeding a lot of the younger girls to fatten them up because. The bigger you are and the more curvy you are, the more appealing you are to men and, yeah. and to find a husband, it's, um, you're more appealing because of that's, that's what they see as beautiful, as mm. more curvy, sort of bigger women. Mm. Yeah. It's all to do with the media, isn't it, and how, how it is in that particular country, It really country, is, I isn't think. it? Yeah, and the, what the majority is rules as well, doesn't it? So what, what everyone's saying is beautiful, mm. you're sort of starting to see, and you, then you probably um, take it on as well. Well, that's from when I was little, everyone told me that's beautiful, so I now think that's beautiful, so see what I mean? Yeah. It's like that sort of idea as well. And um, so here in the UK, beauty is defined by being slim, um, tall, good looking, with perfect teeth, perfect hair, perfect fashion, And um, but some will take it a bit too far to keep up with the beauty. They'll often have plastic surgery, implants, hair extensions, um, create, go on crazy diets and have lots and lots of cosmetics and also applying a lot of fake tan as well. Um, so yeah, that's here in the UK, but I think sometimes they go a little bit too far with excessive fake tan and, um, and looking really skinny and looking really slim. It just, I don't think, I don't think it looks attractive at all. So it's the opposite I to... I don't think she looks bad. I think she looks quite nice, actually. The opposite to areas fan. of East Africa, isn't it? Like the hey, what was that picture woman. that we saw with the big ring in the mouth? What was that about? I saw that before. Oh, that, that was another tradition in oh, um, some part of Africa. That, 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 was, bit, that, that was, was seen bit, as beautiful no, as well. What is that? So they put that that coin, almost like a coin in their mouths, and that's also seen as beautiful in some parts of um, Africa as well. Gosh. It's strange, isn't it? That one looks painful. Yeah, that's again another painful one, isn't it? Yeah. It's like, beauty. <laughs> they do say that um, pain is beauty, though, don't they? So <laughs> they've really <laughs> taken that one, haven't they? <laughs> so like, like you can see there, so beauty is really identified by the places and the cultures, isn't it, yeah. that you're around, yeah. your surroundings. So that was really interesting and strange. Mm -hmm. And um, I've got some, be bizarre beauty secrets that have been sent in from our okay, viewers we've got about well. 30 seconds left before the oh break no! and it's flown by, but tell us. So quickly then. So Leanne from Kent says she washes her hair in beer. That one I've never heard Yeah, before. you might laugh, but the thing is, they, experts say you should try it. The alcohol um, like takes off any build-up that sits on the hair and, and promotes a lot of shine as well. Oh. They say you should shampoo it and then put it in the beer as a conditioner and it will make it really shiny. Strange, yeah, it's time it? for a break. Do you have more? You've got loads maybe, more. Maybe, okay, maybe we can talk about more of them more after the break. More bizarre beauty And then we'll also see the video of how our makeup's done too. So join us after this. And if you want to give us a call to tell us your beauty secrets, you can do so on 020 7686 6300. Don't forget to subscribe to The Chrissy B Show. Always aiming to show you the happier side of life. You can find us on YouTube, Facebook and Twitter. Welcome back. Well, before we meet our guests, let's take a look at this video of how my makeup's done for the shows. So we're here at the Professional Beauty Show 2013 and I'm here with the very lovely Erica Fremantle, celebrity makeup artist. And she's going to be taking us around, showing us what's in, what's the latest makeup, so hopefully educate the viewers. So Erica, what are you expecting from the show today? Right, thank you, Chrissy, for coming. We're going to go around the show and we're going to look at all the new trends. The makeup seminar that I'm going to do later on is about women of colour, because the industry is quite ignorant to makeup for women of colour. So you're going to see me showing women how to apply makeup for dark darker skin tones. We have nails, we have education, we have makeup, we have tanning, you name it, we have it here. They all know each other around here. It started off very small, but it's developed into this huge event as you can see. I'm here with Michelle Webb from AOFM. So Michelle, tell us, what does your academy actually do? We 
basically are the only academy that is made solely up of freelance working makeup artists. So every day if you take a course there you're taught by a different makeup artist like myself or one of our other amazing artists like Ying Lee or Carolyn who's done the body paint here today. This type of makeup here is quite elaborate, it's quite, you know, we do a little bit of everything. Over the two days you get actually over 50,000 people and it's, professional, it's the professional trade and what you find is women spend, spend, spend and they really, really enjoy themselves here. But it's really the industry, it's the professional industry that's here. When you use a brush, a foundation, it needs to be a brush that's really tight and the hairs are really short. called Nouveau Beauty Group and we offer beauty training to all the industry, to all the beauty therapists and non-beauty therapists too. So the treatments that we offer are permanent makeup and we also offer anti-aging treatments. We, we're also the biggest um, academy as well for eyelash extensions. The eyelash thing is something that's really big at the moment. Everybody wants to look good so eyelashes are the thing that really makes your eyes pop. This is the, the brand new A-Lift machine that Karen Betts has brought to the UK. It stimulates the production of ATP within your cells and ATP is like the power centre of your cells, the battery of your cells. So basically the therapist can use it for people that are very young as a pre-party treatment, helps with um, makeup going on more flawlessly, great for uh, proms, stuff like that, but it's also great for people like me that are almost 40 that are now concerned about the sides of ageing. So there you have it, that was the Professional Beauty Show 2013, so we saw some snippets of the latest trends, the type of stuff that's out. I'm sure by next year as well there's going to be a lot of new stuff, but if you want to check it out yourself for next year or if you want to visit their website, do so. Welcome back. Well, that wasn't the actual video I introduced, but we're going to play that one later on. But that was the 2013 Professional Beauty Show, which was great fun. But let's introduce our guests for now. It's Lisa Marie. Hello. We also have Chris and we have Hi. Jade. Hiya. Welcome to the show. Good to be here. <laughs> so you're going to be styled today by Lisa Marie. Yeah. But before we get to our guest, Lisa Marie, we had a couple more things to read out, didn't we? <laughs> yes. Yeah, there was. Because <laughs> uh, you guys took so long talking. I mean, I never do that. <laughs> Sorry. Um, <laughs> Kate from Leicester swears by using kitty litter. Yes, I said kitty litter. For what? To exfoliate. The oh. expert opinion. Sorry. <laughs> But um, obviously, well, obviously it's clean one. Clean kitty litter, <laughs> but it's still the image of kitty litter. Um, the expert opinion, though, yeah. they say skip it. They say the large particles will scratch your skin, and the moisture sucking properties of the kitty litter will have the same effect on your skin, leading to dehydration. But do you know what it's good for? Which I saw on, on a, I can't remember that. You know, I think it was Super Scrimpers, that program on ITV. If you put um, cat litter in like smelly shoes, it kind of absorbs all the. Just to let everyone know, if you didn't know, it's like sil silica gel. You know, you get it yeah. if you buy like a uh, electrical appliance. Sometimes you get the little sachets of stuff, don't you? Take yeah, it, yeah, and it just absorbs all the stinkiness. Apparently, <laughs> <laughs> <It's> like, <laughs> so that's probably better to use that than put it on your face. <laughs> and Ali from Reading again. I don't know. I always wonder when I see these things, like, where do people get the idea to try things from? <laughs> but Annie from Reading uses tape to remove her eye makeup. Oh, okay. Tape. 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 <laughs> um, but you try that one, Jay, don't you? <laughs> the, experts, it, okay. the experts say try it with caution. They say glitter can be especially hard to remove, so tape does the trick. Fabric tape will be the most gentle on your skin, but if your skin is super sensitive or prone to redness, avoid this option and stick with makeup remover. I mean, <laughs> that's what I would use I'm anyway. Sorry, <laughs> <laughs> and um, again, one of the last ones, Terry from Brighton adds red wine to the bath to soften her skin. Oh, that one doesn't sound too But crazy. again, I don't, maybe she was drinking wine in the bath maybe one day and it's <laughs> yeah, like, well, but the experts say skip it. They say red wine in the tub could work because when con wine contains tartaric acid, which can help exfoliate, but it would take a few bottles to notice an effect mm. and the wine could irritate any minor scratches on the skin. Sounds like a waste okay. to me. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> it's true. <laughs> you don't know where they would get it from, never mind. All right, so let's talk to, to Jade and Chris now. So let's start with you, Jade. Yep. Would you say you that you're quite safe with your colours and the way you dress or do what kind of stuff would you like to sort of experiment with maybe? 
Um, I'd like to experiment with colours because mm. I'm quite simple, me, because I'm 5'11", so when I'm out in heels, I'm, yeah. do you know what I mean, I tower and I'm really noticeable. But some people want to be 5'11 and wear heels and be I know, taller. a lot what of people it? do say that, but yeah. I don't know, I suppose it's because you're sort of out there, like, everyone notices you. I think that's why I keep to plain, simple colours, like mm. black. You know, you, you hardly see me in colours. I think because I know I'm noticeable enough already, I think if I'm in colours as well, it will just be like, wow. Well, well, you're noticeable because you're you gorgeous, are. by the way. <laughs> Thank <laughs> you. <laughs> but yeah, no, so I've always, you know, I never sort of risk, you know. I mean, I suppose if I went shopping and I got told I wasn't allowed to buy black or simple mm. colours and I got told to go buy bright colours, I wouldn't know where to start. I wouldn't know what to put together because I'm just... Yeah. You know, I like to keep it simple and... Okay. So yeah. maybe we'll sort of throw a few colours on you today. Yeah. Yeah. What do you reckon? That's what can be... That's what throws a lot of people. I mean, a lot Actually, of Actually, talking of colours, give me that cushion because I'm just aware that I'm wearing like, a really bright <laughs> colour and I've got red behind me. So let me just swap this around <laughs> so, so it doesn't look... So okay. I can go behind me because I'm wearing yeah, black. Yeah, right, there you go. Okay. <laughs> yeah, a lot of people are like Jade. They're uh. scared of colour and they get used to being in such safe colours, you know, plain, kind of dark, kind of blending, and then to actually take that step to to choose a colour and stand out yeah. can be quite difficult because then people think, because they've never seen it against their skin before, they're like, oh, I don't know what to go for, I don't know if that's me, and they're too scared to try something bold, when yeah. I think colour is, is actually brilliant. I feel brilliant. lovely on her. How about you, Chris? What do you normally go for? Are you quite safe with your clothes, would you say? Um, I think that I either wear really casual clothes, like really, I don't know, version on beach wear, or <laughs> sm really smart clothes. I'm yeah. a bit of an extremist in terms of what I wear. I don't really do like jumpers or things like that. Well, that's quite a summary like, top you've got. Like, yeah, yeah, you couldn't on. get much more bright than that. <laughs> you? no. You're just but, trying um, to cheer yourself up because of the weather, aren't you? Well, yeah, <laughs> yeah, yeah you've, got to, you've got to bring summer to <laughs> yourself somehow, haven't you? <laughs> but, um, but no, um, yeah, it's all or nothing, really. Yeah. Um, now, yeah. you've lost a bit of weight recently, haven't you? Yeah, yeah, yeah. I have actually, You yeah. used to worry about your, your tummy, I read. I did, yeah, I did. Well, I... Um, I just saw a, um, a video of myself, and I thought it looks like a, it looks like the Churchill dog around his face. I was like, "That's disgusting," <laughs> and I've lost a stone. Um, yeah, but I think, well I've done. Done. <laughs> thank you. I think look, most of it's come off my around my face. It's weird, <laughs> but, um, but yeah, yeah. So that's that's cheered me up, obviously. Okay. So uh, what would you reckon, Lisa? See, so yeah, I think as well when people do tend to fluctuate with the weight, that's when people as well they they get some fashion dilemmas because they don't know how to dress for their new shape now and mm. things like that and I mean I found it when I mean I just did turn 31 but I mean once you get older the metabolism slows down so it's even harder yeah, to I, lose I, weight yeah, I'm 31 it only as well. slows <laughs> down when you stop exercising because it could you know it's you true, but it's, still, it's that because I noticed that I could exercise less obviously when I was younger mm, and suppose, still yeah. do you know what I mean? so yeah. it is in terms of that way but obviously still need to look after ourselves so, do you try? <laughs> yeah. um, so we can with men's fashion um, I think it, it is a little bit easier than mm -hmm. for some of the ladies but it's still about knowing what to choose and going for the right things so we can inject a little more casual or smart casual fashion yeah so something sort of around. in between rather than the two extremes That's it. yeah okay so we can and what's actually going for this season what's what's the trend now there's quite a few I mean simple um one that has ca um, carried over from autumn winter is monochrome and i think that's one of the easiest ones for anyone to mm. do monochrome being black and white it's the easiest thing to do that for men but, as well um no this is for ladies no, no. <laughs> <laughs> um but for um it doesn't have to be done plainly. So, I mean, look, my trousers, we've got prints on I there. I love those, but by it's, the way. it's monochrome. So, uh -huh. it's still lots of people could do it. Loads of women, they have black and white in their wardrobes, but it's just about playing it up. And then to do something different, like I've done, just adding a pop of colour. Mm -hmm. Simple. And there's lots of different primary colours that they can add, bright things. And it's a good one for people who are maybe like Jade and are scared of colour normally, because everyone wears black and white. Just adding, introducing a little bit of colour mm -hmm. in the heels and the accessories, something like that, is a way to take this one forward. Did you ever used to wear lots of colours, Jade, or have you always been...? Um, I suppose when I was younger, when I was in school, you know, it was yeah. just the case of... It wasn't sort of too much, but it, it was more sort of when I started getting into fashion more, when mm -hmm. I started, 
you know, enjoying going out shopping, but I, I, I just always stuck to the same colours. I'd go through phases where it'd be black, then I'd go through phases where it'd be grey. Mm. And I'd go, it's really weird, but I never, yeah. I never, as much as I look, I just... I'd, I'd rather, I see the colour and I'm like, oh yeah, it, that's quite nice. And then I see the plain, simple, and I'm like, yeah. Because All I know right, that so we're it's gonna, gonna... We're gonna work on that. So we're gonna go to a quick break and then we're gonna sit, we're gonna be choosing for our two models today. So join us after this. Don't forget to subscribe to The Chrissy B Show. Always aiming to show you the happier side of life. You can find us on YouTube, Facebook and Twitter. Welcome back and we still have Lisa Marie with us and she's going to be telling us a few more things about the trends but also you're going to be picking out something for Jade and for Chris that maybe they're not quite used to wearing. Yes. But tell us about the trends first. So uh, another trend is uh, white on white which is just as it sounds it's all about being all in white. I know it's not the easiest <laughs> colour to wear, but it does look amazing. What yeah. it doesn't mean is that you can, what, to make it interesting, I should say, you don't just have to wear the same kind of texture fabric. Mm, so okay. that way so that you, you are them. mixing it up. Well, she just look like a snowman, <laughs> you really. <laughs> but yeah. also it's in your accessories again that you're going to be able to make this look pop. So for any colour, obviously for... Um, so for more white skins, Caucasian skins, olive skins, you know, wearing like some metallics with that as well mm. is really going to help bring that out. What if your skin is quite um, white though? Then I would go for more an ivory or a cream rather mm. than a stark white because if you are very pale in complexion already, it is going to make you look washed out. Mm -hmm. So it's about going along that spectrum. So from the white all the way, you know, to ivory, to cream, off-white, whichever yeah. one looks best, and mixing it up with like the braidry on glaze or the lace, you know, nice white silk shirt. It's going to look great, especially once we do get some lovely weather and people can have a little bit of a tan or, yeah. as people do, fake it till you make it. <laughs> until We spoke about fake tans at the beginning, though. <laughs> See, I don't, I don't see, see anything wrong with it. No, <laughs> there's a difference between a fake tan and someone looking like a tin of run seal. Oh, in my yeah. opinion, you can have a nice fake tan. I think it looks good. Yeah. But when it's too much and you're orange or... As I, I said, think you just go with your natural skin colour and that's it, you know. That's fine, have a natural tan anyway, yeah. so it won't suit me, I don't mind. Uh, yeah. Florals is another good one. Hmm. Florals, there are so many different types. You can go as crazy as you want to with this one or as safe as you want to. Um, some people could do it head to toe or if you're somebody who is not a massive fan of prints, you can take it separately. Mm -hmm. So you can go to getting, like, as we can see some of the examples that are on the screen, we've got a nice floral jacket, we've got a pencil skirt, adding a scarf in there, you know, adding it in with your accessories or even with your shoes. So you can go for a nice little Kath Kidston type print, which is a nice mm. little chintzy 50s type thing. And maybe if you're a, a nice little summer dress, would look nice. I still like that. those, wouldn't <laughs> <That's kind of laughs> I don't worry, we'll go, we'll go to the men's ones. Yeah. Uh, you know, uh, looks cute with a nice dress, I said. Or um, if you're not that fond of wearing things like that, then go for something that maybe just has a flower print on one side, mm -hmm. has a little bit of a picture. So then you it's an easy way for you to bring it in okay. for some of the guys especially so we're not leaving out chris mm -hmm. <laughs> um we have stripes is another big one for um the guys for spring summer there's not much and variation some... for blokes is there really because what can you do okay one scene is going to be stripes <laughs> it's going to be dots sometimes and then what it's checked, sometimes. the thing is it's all about the guy's individual style and how mm. they incorporate it into that because i mean even though I say that all of these things are in fashion. It's about how somebody does it. Now, for example, those are straight off the runway pictures. Mm -hmm. And so, for, for example, the middle picture, the stripy pants, you're not going to see many guys being able to pull that off and yeah. making that work. That is specifically for one type of guy. But it's about how you adapt that and put it in your wardrobe. So for the most guys, it would be a stripy shirt, a stripy t-shirt, which is more like the Breton type thing. Mm -hmm. um, uh, like, some people can attribute it to like sailor type wear, but it all depends on how the guy actually does it. And it's same for the girls. If you, you don't have to be a slave to a fashion trend because not every fashion trend is going to work mm -hmm. for that person. It's about making it work for them. So 
as we've got some little bits here, yeah. so we can talk about what Let's we're going to spring put Jade over Let's first of Jade. all. <laughs> Come stand next to me, I need to tiptoe a bit. <laughs> now, I don't understand why she's scared of colour. With her colouring, she can take yeah. a lot of different colours. And I say, if you're tall, own it. Yeah, as far I know. As, as far as as, you know how I am with my heels, so as you can see. Yeah. Like, you know, nearly there, not quite. But me, yeah, like, I don't care. I'm 5'9 in my flats, but I'm like, the higher the heel, the better. Yeah. Um, so as she's not used to wearing a lot of colour, this is the why we've got colour here, because I believe that she can take it. Yeah. Um, see, cute little dress mm. here, fitted. Showing off, um, this is perfect for most figures, hourglass especially, because um, it's nipping you in at the waist, skimming yeah. the hips. And if you are somebody who is conscious of um, like your hips, conscious of maybe like um, your, your tummy and things like that, that's why little things like this can draw the attention away from your problem areas mm -hmm. and are drawing it onto the ruffle rather than People may be thinking, oh my gosh, I can't wear this because why is always going to be looking at my problem areas? Mm. This is going to be drawing the eye away from that and onto there. And it's in a bright pillar box red. As you I just, that would look if nice I just it. hold it up to her, you can see yeah, that, that the colouring, it works with her. I don't know why you're scared. <laughs> um, and as I said, with your colouring, you can take a lot. So here we've got a lovely um, little like, kind of neon green number. And neon is something as well that is going to be big for spring, summer. This is one of the things that I say for people, don't be a slave to fashion because neon won't be good for everyone. So for me, it won't be a trend I'll be touching, but it works with other people, it doesn't yeah. work with me. But the bright colours on this lovely mm. lady look wonderful. That's, yeah, that's definitely one of those where I'd be like, no. Yeah, me <laughs> too. I don't I know if I would wear that. I see it and I'd be like, no, that's not me. <laughs> but you know what it is? Sometimes it's when you put it on, it's a lot different. Yeah. Yes. You know, it's, it looks one way in the hanger, it looks different when it's on. Um, classic is a black jacket, you know I say, it's a classic for everyone's wardrobe. This one, a tuxedo style, just adding a little bit of difference here with um, the embellishments on the collar. Mm -hmm. like um, but the one thing I am going to put you in, because we're going to style this with jeans, is this gorgeous I love yellow, yellow uh, top here. And I think it's going to look absolutely amazing on you. Nice and floaty, hides away any problem areas that you might like. And this goes for anybody. She doesn't have any problem areas. This goes for <laughs> well, <laughs> I do have quite wide hips, actually. So something that would, you so know. So this is going to. Well, if you go to Africa, <laughs> <laughs> I'll be all right there. I'll be sorted. So this is going to be then fitted. We're going to see this gorgeous yeah. tiny waist and it's going to skim over the hips. And we're going to style it as you're going to see it later right. on. So okay, so you're going to go and put that on. Thank go. you. We'll see that in, in, after the break. Yeah. yeah. Okay. Now, Chris, you can come over. So it's a lot easier for me to talk about yeah. that. It's a little more simpler. <laughs> um, so, I mean, as you said, that he's lost some weight. We lost yes. some stone recently. Yeah. So this is what this. <laughs> Give up all the uh, sausage rolls. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> oh, they're nice. Mm. Um, so this lovely shirt here, I think, is going to be. Drawing our attention away from if you think you still have any problem areas, I don't think you do, uh, but it's going to give well, us... I'm tensing quite bad. <laughs> <laughs> He's holding his tummy, aren't you? <laughs> <laughs> so this is going to, we're going to see um, the, your actual shape that you have here with this nice little detail I on really here. Like that. Yeah. I quite like the fact that on that one, the, uh, the buttons are actually concealed inside this little bit of blue. Yeah, yeah. that's yeah. nice. So it's going nice to, and we've, we've got some nice detail on the neck here. So it's not just a normal collared shirt. Mm. But for guys, for, we were talking about smart casual, just because I know we've got to go um, for a break real soon. I've um, got a couple of minutes, though. Things yeah. like um, blazers, I think, with jeans. So I'm glad that he's wearing jeans today, because I think we're going to work with that. Because I think a nice smart casual look mm. is when we have a nice patterned shirt, we can wear it with some jeans, Whatever shoes it that's is, not, you're not that's something you're used to, is it, Chris? Because you said before that you either like sort of really smart sort of stuff or. I tend to well, normally this time of year, because it's normally summer this time of year. Um, <laughs> yeah. I'll be wearing, i like live in flip flops and like just t-shirt and yeah. shorts, and then I'll go from that to like suit and tie. Mm. I'm not the sort of person that has much of a middle ground, really. Okay. So the same. So this is that, pretty middle ground, so isn't this, it? Yeah, and the yeah. same way that us girls would wear a nice blazer over a pair of jeans it can be done as well for guys to breach that to breach that so the the gap between mm. really casual and being really smart going there somewhere in the middle and like um even if you don't want to wear blazer normally i'd say if this was better if it was a v-neck shirt mm -hmm. over again another shirt with a with a nice color and then that's another look for them to rock as well yeah I've, I've, I've very rarely wear a, um 
a jumper, actually. I don't that? know why, really. I'm either just a, a, a shirt or a yeah. T-shirt. I've got a, two poles of a wardrobe. Don't shirts, you get cold, Chris? Wardrobe. Uh, no, sorry, shirts, T-shirts. Yeah. Oh. Yeah. I would say... Don't you get cold? No, not really. I'm no. like the human radiator. Oh. <laughs> yeah, no, I am. Right. Yeah. Layers are the way to go. So what if I, for your wardrobe, I would suggest things like cardigans, things like so V-neck jumpers, blazers, so you can layer it up and... So that's, so gonna, that's what you've chosen for Chris. Chris. Chris, you want to go and pop yeah. that on? Okay, and we'll have a yeah. look at that after the break. See you soon. Alrighty, <laughs> so we're going to go to a quick break now. We're going to see how Jade and Chris look in their new outfits. So join us after this. Don't forget to subscribe to The Chrissy B Show. Always aiming to show you the happier side of life. You can find us on YouTube, Facebook and Twitter. Hello, my name is Paulina and today I will be uh, doing Chrissy's uh, makeup for tonight's show. So for the foundation, what I usually uh, use on Chrissy is the um, air based makeup. Uh, so it's actually a technique called airbrushing. Um, it's quite good because first of all, it's very quick and easy and it gives this really nice and flawless finish. And you find probably that after you put the foundation on, you don't actually have to um, use any powder because the finish is quite uh, matte already. So the next stage will be defining the eyebrows. So we want to put a little bit of uh, product on it just to make them stand out a little bit more. The eyebrows are very important. I think they frame the face really nicely. So we want to give it nice arched shapes as well. So the product I'm using for that is the Browsings by Benefit. And it's a part wax and part powder. Um, and you can just use really hard angle brush um, and following direction of the hair. will be the eyeliner. So I'm going to be using very thin eyeliner brush and a gel eyeliner from Clinique. So this is a complete look on Chrissy for tonight's show. Uh, if you would like to know how to create this look or the products that I have used, you can have a look at Chrissy's B website or you can contact me through my uh, own website, uh, which is just at the bottom and it's uh, www.missmua.co.uk. Welcome back. Well, before we reveal the new look for Jade and Chris, let's just go through a few things that will make you look beautiful on the outside too. Now, there's no point in getting really nicely dressed up, doing your makeup, looking your best, if there are certain characteristics that you have about yourself that make you ugly, basically. So for example, if you're a person that easily loses their temper, you could look beautiful, you could look really handsome, but that will instantly put people off you. So if you do have any issues, for example, anger problems, things that you're going through, things that maybe are affecting you in some way, you really should um, try and deal with those as soon as possible because that's what will make you really beautiful. Because I don't know if you've ever seen like sort of, for example, really gorgeous girls and you see them and then when they open their mouth, then it's just like, Blah. everything's like it, it just takes away that beauty yeah. doesn't it you can agree with me guys yeah. can you yeah, <laughs> yeah definitely. oh you get a really handsome guy the same way and then he's really boring or there's nothing there so you know you can look as lovely as you want to on the outside but if you're not you know you don't deal with certain issues that you have inside not a good thing and also um smile some people don't smile enough i know it's something really simple but i know everyone goes through like situations and problems sometimes don't they guys and they're like it's like they've got the whole world on their shoulders, but 
You can still smile at people. Don't take out on others around you. Deal with your issues, but don't take out, for example, if you've got a husband, wife, partner. It's very easy to take it out, out things on them all the time. So if you have got issues, don't take it out on other people. Smile at them, you know, be happy and, you know, deal with what you're going through. And then don't bring everyone else into it because that's also something that can make a person unattractive. Mm. Yeah. I know you guys want to see the new look and I should stop talking now. <laughs> <laughs> so let's go and have a look at how, should we reveal Jade first? Why not? I think yeah. they're both on camera together, though. Let's have a look. <laughs> have they been on camera already? No, so I think they're All right, come, let's reveal the looks then. <laughs> wow, yes, there you go. This is what the guys look so like. So I think the colour looks absolutely gorgeous on Jade. See, as she keeps saying that she couldn't wear colour, wasn't, you know, didn't think she could wear it, wouldn't go for it, and look how stunning colour looks. I think it's lovely, yeah. <laughs> so what, how do you feel about it, though? Um, it wouldn't have been something I would have picked. Definitely wouldn't, you know, it's just, it's bright, it's out there kind of thing. But yeah, the now, before. you know, putting it on, it's, it's mm -hmm. quite, it's, I don't know, I just like, oh. <laughs> The colour's lovely on you, even the style of it but actually. Yeah. yeah, I think the style of it's it like as well. It's like beachwear almost, <laughs> but in a, in a sort of indoor way. Yeah. Like. So and like Jade was saying before we went to the break, you know, she's conscious about her hips. Mm. And that is a shape a lot, a lot of women have a yeah. pear shape. And that's what people are like, oh my gosh, no, so I'm going to hide away in black. I'm going to hide away. I can't wear all these different things that are out there. It's yeah. absolute nonsense. Because here is an easy way. She's wearing absolutely gorgeous bright colour. We're showing off that she still has a waist, but we're skimming over an area that she considers a problem. Mm -hmm. And then we'll be more confident showing off the actual outfit. Yeah. And that goes for a lot of women. That doesn't even mean to say that she couldn't wear a pattern or a bright mm -hmm. colour on the bottom half. What women should do instead is if you're going to wear it on your bottom half and you are conscious, just wear something that's slightly longer on the mm -hmm. top half. You know, so that so way it's skimming Let's have a look at the before again, just so we've... Yeah so we can see the, the comparison. Okay. <laughs> that way. The other way. <laughs> oh, there you go. Oh, so the colours look good. Yeah. There you go. There right. we go. Okay. So there, it does. It goes with her skin tone. She yeah, can wear a lot it's of colours. Like the facial features as well. The colors, there are so it? many colours. Yeah. Now she's not allowed to hide away from no, them no more black. All. She so can wear... <laughs> Red, pink, purple, lots of it. You can right. go and, for it. And Chris now. And for Chris? I, I love this one for Chris. I think it's really good. <laughs> so this shirt, as I said, so we're here showing off that See, we have lost some weight, so we have yeah. got a we have got a shape here. This is this. I love the colour on this shirt. It's just a bit different from mm. the normal, you know, uh, wide collar. It's just got something a little bit of a feature. I tried doing it all the way to the top. Um, like an Essex bloke might, <laughs> but um, I looked actually like a priest, so uh, I decided no. to undo that. See, so, yeah, I think no, yeah. leave it open, yeah, let definitely. it breathe, yeah. and just a little bit of a contrast here. So again, because we've got the blue ribbon going down the middle here, mm. that's where your eye is going anyway. So even if you are a guy that says, you know, or oh, um, a few love handles, you know, I don't quite like how it looks in a shirt, get something that's got the detail in the middle, then the eye is naturally drawn to that rather than what you might consider your problem area. Mm -hmm. uh, so it's got a little bit of pattern in there, but because it is a, a kind of greyish shirt, cool colours, again, it's not outlandish, it's not all everyone yeah. in your face. If you're, if you, because he obviously like on the shirt is. before that. Yeah, yeah, it's all right. Um, <laughs> I'm just looking at myself. Kind of a bit more I'm looking at myself on the telly. There we go. Um, yeah, no, I, 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 like I, I, I actually, I I do, what I like about it is the fact that it's just a bit weird because you can't see the buttons. <laughs> it's like, it well, they are there, so don't worry. They are there, but they're concealed within this <laughs> silk <laughs> strip. Um, well, that's not to say I didn't like my other shirt. Yeah, um, that's me, because it shows he's not afraid of colour. He's not afraid of yeah. pattern, as some people are. So this is just another alternative. And well, I think you both look great. I love it. And like I was saying before the break, for the guys, the things that they can do to add to their wardrobe to broach mm -hmm. that gap between too casual and being uh, too smart. Yeah. All right, guys, well, I hope that's helped you guys at home and you uh, picked up a few tips there. And there are, you know, people, Lisa Marie as well, that really don't like anything about it's themselves. It. And it's a bit, yeah, come sit, come sit down. I'm going to finish the show now. <laughs> yeah, there are people that do not like their, their looks or anything, but I think there's something that looks nice in everyone I agree. and we just have to find it so sometimes when I'm making faces sorry the cameraman's making faces out <laughs> <so> <laughs> it's, me off. it's like he says so, smile's best accessory 
Sorry. Smile, smile. Right. Look, there is something about yourself. Look in the mirror today and find something about yourself that you love and work with that. You know, everyone can improve in some way, but learn to love the way you are because we sound like we're going to go into a song because you are unique. And it's true, you are. <laughs> so that's it for today's show. Have a lovely, lovely weekend and we'll see you again. Thanks, guys, very much. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. And we'll see you again next time on the Chrissy V Show. Bye bye for now. <laughs>